So the playoffs, it is going to be. I don't know why, but I'm incredibly, incredibly nervous for these next few games. Hopefully it's a few games, might only be two. But when we took over Huddersfield, they were in a dire situation, sitting in the bottom three, having only won one game in the first seven and losing the other six. Playoffs was seemed a distant dream. Now that we've made it, oh, I would just I would love to get promoted at the first time of asking. Let's quickly run through the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met, the first of which was a 3-2 away win against Middlesbrough, Ruben Burgos, Lewis O'Brien and Ben Beachy with the goals for us. We then absolutely thrashed Ipswich Town at home. Dimitri Priya, uh, Principato getting his goal. He, I think he scored about four goals in 16 games. He's been an excellent sign. Uh, ben Beachy with a brace and Fabio Barini with one. Next up was a 2-0 away win against Derby County. Fabio Barini and Ben Beachy with the goals. Ben Beachy, by, he's injured by the way and he's not going to make the playoffs, which is absolutely devastating. He has been unbelievable since he's went to this right-hand side. Uh, unfortunately for us, he's not going to be available for the playoffs. We then absolutely smashed Preston North End 5-0. Dimitri Prince apart with a brace, Fabio Barini with a brace and Ben Beachy with another. Then, disappointingly, we went away from home against Sunderland and managed to get beat. Stuart McDonald in the 93rd minute gave them the only goal of the game and the win. And he is absolutely dreadful. And to round off our league campaign was a 2-0 home win against Bristol City. Samuel Stanko and Ben Beachy with the goals. And this 92nd minute, the last game of the season, he gets injured for four weeks. Devastating. So this is how the championship table finished. Newcastle and Wolves being promoted automatically. And we are now in the playoff race against Burnley, Brentford and Swansea. And of course, Brentford will be the semi-final challenger. We play away from home in the first leg, at home in the second. And we've got to get past them. Could it be Burnley again in the final if we make it through? Same as it was against Birmingham. We'll have to wait and see. And we've got to beat Brentford to get there. Taking a quick look at our old boys, Birmingham and Barnsley finished 9th and 10th respectively. Not too bad after they both had difficult starts to the campaign. Um, so I'm relatively pleased with that. If we were to get promoted, we will be uh, facing our former clubs. But anyway, without any further ado, we are going to go towards today's first leg away from home against Brentford. Injuries have meant we've had to make some chopping and changing. And I have settled on this formation now, I think. We've dropped the attack midfielder back, Stanko. We are training him in the new central midfield role. He hadn't, he did, he had barely any idea how to play it before the past six games or so, and he's already on a green, so it shouldn't be too long before he's natural in that position. But uh, Fabio Barini's had to come in on that right hand side with Al Jetty coming in on the left hand side, as uh, of course Ben Beachy is injured for four weeks. Other than that, we're pretty much full strength. Let's get into the game. So Brentford come at us with a pretty standard 4 4 2. Dominic Solanke up top. We have been interested in him in the past. Uh, Turner is an okay striker, not absolutely amazing. Emerson's a good right back though, formerly of Barcelona, I seem to recall. Decent side, obviously finishing just below us in the league, two points behind us. If we can get a draw out the first leg, I'll be absolutely thrilled. First highlight of the game comes 15 minutes in. Who is going to be the side on the attack? It looks like it's going to be Brentford as they are currently in possession Espinosa bringing the ball down at the right hand side finds Emerson overlapping we know he's a very very talented player he tries to whip the ball and we get the block but they do retain possession the ball's whipped in Turner's there and yes he should have done better with that opportunity we are on the attack this time though Fabio Barini picks up the ball on this right hand side as long as we don't give it away um, we should be fine Ald Benassar finds Al Jetty on this left hand side he gets dispossessed by Emerson and now it's going to be an opportunity for Brentford to counter. And Solanke has picked up the ball. He's got past the centre defender. He's... Oh, <laughs> that was dreadful. That was genuinely one of the worst shots I've ever seen. The first half is just ticking away. I am absolutely fine with this. If it is to go in nil-nil. But there is another highlight. 42 minutes in. Stanko picks up the ball in the centre. Switches the play to Barini on this right-hand side. Is he going to play it back? He is. Burgos is there supporting. Gets past his man back to Barini. No, oh, didn't lose the ball, Burgos. He finds Stanko. Oh, oh my God, I thought that was going in. Prince of Porto could have got his toe on that and really pushed it towards goal. But um, it wasn't a B and Stanko's head up goes wide. Brentford are back at it though, coming down this right-hand side with Espinosa. Seemed to be causing us all sorts of problems. They played inside to Sunjic. 
a former player and Emerson's there in the box. Solanke, oh my god, it is a good job. Their strikers can't hit the barn door. And there we have it for the first half. Uh, Brentford nil, Huddersfield nil. I'm not making any changes just yet. Um, I am tempted to drop us from the attack and the mentality to more of a positive one. Prince of with a free kick. Albanesar, oh, he hits the bar. But yeah, we'll drop the tempo a little bit um, and try and retain a little bit more possession. Brentford definitely had the better of the opportunities in the first half. And Fabio Barini, he is garbage attribute-wise. He just is. But 14 goals for the season. He's played all over the place. I've had him left wing back, right wing back, left wing, right wing, striker. Central midfield a couple of times. And he has performed when we've needed him to. And that header, superb. 1-0. Come on, hold out for the rest of the second half. It's going to be a quick highlight after the goal. Espinosa with the corner for Brentford. It comes back to Sonjic. He hits the bar. Sonjic, don't do it to me. Only 20 minutes remain on the clock. We are on the attack. Albanasar brings it down this left-hand side. O'Brien's a bit tired out there. Tries to find Daly. Uh, Brentford cut out the pass and are going to break again. Solanke plays a bat. Espinosa ball over the top. We're pushing the high line. Solanke's in behind. Oh, good save by Joel Pereira to keep us. 1-0 up. Oh, I was just about to drop our line, but unfortunately, we might not have time to. The Brentford boys are on the attack. Sunjic plays it to the left-hand side for O'Connor. The ball's whipped in. Solanke's there. Joel Pereira saves right. Drop this Drop this line now. This highlight isn't over. It is still continuing. Prince of Porto brings the ball down absolutely beautifully. Oh, and that's just a dreadful, dreadful pass. Thankfully, Guell is on top of things at the back. Uh, stopping the counter-attack before it can properly start. Stanko brings the ball forward down the right-hand side. Fabio Barini picks up the ball, plays a back post. Albi in a jet, he's there. Is it onside? Is it onside? I think it is. He's put that one away. Albi in a jetty. 14 goals for the season for him as well, alongside Fabio Barini. Barini with the assist. He has been the difference maker in today's game, and that puts us 2-0 up in a really commanding position going into the second leg, if we can hold on to this for the rest of the game. Highlight straight from kickoff. <laughs> Brentford give the ball away really sloppily. I'm wondering if they've gone a little bit more direct to try and get back into this game. It might not be working their favour though. O'Brien, Barini, back to Albenasar. Uh, we haven't got really many options. Burgos finds Algeti in the box. I oh, could have got two in two minutes. Free kick for Brentford, 15 minutes to go. Mawson heads it down for Sunjic. And there's Ivan Sunjic. We all know this boy, our former Birmingham player who we saw at Brentford when they were in League One for a big sum of money and he brings one back for Brentford it's still it would still be a decent scoreline for us but um it does take the shine off things a little bit and with 12 minutes to go there is still time for more developments Lewis O'Brien picks up the ball goes for goal nearly nearly in. we will look to make some changes now unfortunately our backup left wing back is currently injured um Lewis O'Brien can come off we'll bring on Harry Wing in his place Fabio Barini will bring off for Marcondes on that right-hand side. And Ruben Burgos we can take off for Ryan Niambia at that right wing-back spot. Can we hold on? Five more minutes, lads. Hold out. Oh, highlight. 89 minutes in. I mean, we do have the ball, so that's a good sign. Prince of Porto comes down, gets dispossessed by Emerson. He is dreadful. He has been shocking for us, Prince of Porto. And is he, it's, thankfully, it doesn't look like, or could it, it might cost us a goal. Brentford worker to this right-hand side with Espinosa. Albenasar gets in the challenge. No. Oh, my God. Nervy times. Joel Pereira does well under pressure. We are They are pushing high up the pitch. Stop messing about with it, man. Jesus Christ, this is not going well. I knew it wasn't. Elmas, Maizane, Solanke. Oh, Pereira with the save. That was dreadful performing by our defenders. Just boot the ball up the pitch, for God's sake. We are playing more direct as well. It's not even like... Oh, Marson. It's not even like we're playing playing it out the back. I do not want these boys playing it out the back. They can't. <laughs> Two minutes remaining of injury time. And that is going to be that for this first leg. Good performance from us. A le even game, but we've taken the lead back to the second leg. Of course, we are at home. And if we win this, we're in the final. Oh, oh man. I'm so nervous. Anxiety is killing me. We're back for the second leg at home. Same sides playing. Let's get a kick off. It looks like they've made a couple of changes to their starting eleven, but remain in the same sort of system as last time. If the game goes exactly the same as last time, I'll be absolutely fine by that. Brentford did create a good couple of opportunities early on in the game. 
um, but definitely wilted out towards the end. <coughs> First highlight of the game. We'll pinch the ball in our own half. See what we can do with it. Daly comes down the left-hand side, plays it back to Ajeti, who goes for goal. And that's just, I mean, uh, don't shoot. Another highlight. The ball's played through, slipped through for Brentford. Elmas with the strike. Joel Pereira performing absolute heroics already eight minutes in to keep us uh, in the lead on aggregate here. Corner for us. Albenasar is the man who's going to take it. It comes to, oh my dears. Dimitri, Prince of Porto, them are the only goals he can score when they hit him when he doesn't even know what's happening. <laughs> but I don't care how it goes in. That puts us 1-0 up. We'll see this again in the re replay. Albenasar plays it in. The keeper flaps at it. Sumaria tries to clear it. Prince of Porto is in the way and he gets like his fifth goal in 20 games or something and puts us 1-0 up. 20 minutes in now, we have ourselves another highlight. O'Brien nicks the ball in the centre of the park, sets away Prince of Porto. He's in one-on-one. -on -one. He misses it, but Stanko's there. Oh, and he hits the defender. Come on, lads. O'Brien with the corner. 24 minutes in. It's cleared by Dominic Solanke, but Ajeti will keep the ball alive. And O'Brien receives it again on the right-hand side. Can he whip it in? He can. Prince of Porto was there. He's the best player in the world. Dimitri Prince of Porto. Seven goals for the season. <laughs> I'm so fickle. I really don't care. That's his second goal of the game. He puts us 2-0 up on the night. 4-1 up on aggregate. And things are looking good for us. I think, I say this quietly, I think we're going to make it to the playoff final. Really quiet. Sports Interactive, please don't be listening. 33 minutes and now we're on the attack again. But we give the ball away and give Brentford the opportunity to counter-attack. Salanki finds Maizian. My Maizian? Maizian. That was a great strike as well, mate. Well done. Come on, lads. Put us 3-0 up. Prince of Porto brings the ball. <laughs> he's just dreadful. He's really bad. I know he scored twice today. But every aspect of his game has just been very, very strange. Ajeti finds Daly on this left-hand side. Can he whip it in? Finds Ajeti in the box. Goes for the strike. Prince of Porto was there. <laughs> and he gets his hat trick. <laughs> I mean, he's still... He's, he's, he's a club icon. He's a legend. I mean, he's, um, he's absolutely fantastic. It's a great signing by me. Um, but he's got a hat trick in the playoff semi final, so he's shown up for the important matches. Ajeti, Prince of Porto again, just very fortunate uh, after some lax defending from Brentford. And we go 3 0 up. Another highlight now. Benassar with the corner. Prince of Porto. Oh, that was going in. Ajeti, my dears. Oh, that was going in. That was going to be Prince of Porto's fourth goal of the season. I mean, fourth goal of the game. <laughs> and that's going to be that for the first half of Prince of Porto. Hat trick. Puts us 3-0 up in the other leg. Swansea are currently 1-0 up on aggregate. But they are away from home. Uh, Luke Daly's picked up a knock. We need to get him off. Um, we'll get him off soon. And we'll get him off now. Uh, we'll bring on Ryan Niambia. Not exactly a natural position for him. But it's important we'll get Luke Daly off. Just in case there's not a chance for him to be fit for the final. Should we make it? Niambia though picks up the ball on this left hand side. Bisbal and Ojeti. Great strike but good save by Gunnarsson. This second half is just ticking away, which is absolutely fine by me. We're going to make some changes. We're going to bring on Harry Wing for Benassar. Um I would like to get Ruben Burgess off, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We're going to bring on McCondes for um, Lewis O'Brien. See if some of our key players' legs for a potential playoff final, which is surely coming now. Only 14 minutes remain. Can Brentford stake a comeback? I don't think they can. But we're going to give them every opportunity because Joel Pereira just gives it straight to Espinosa whilst we are pushed up high and Solanke receives the ball back to Espinosa. He whips the ball in. Free header at the back post. Miguel Tricau uh, gets the goal for them. We're going to go cautious. We are going to severely drop our line. Um, and that's going to be that. <laughs> another highlight now. It's another Brentford attack. Do not do this to me. I swear to all that is holy. Cow Enrique whips the ball in. Guel. Manages to get a clear. Stanko picks up the ball. Gets past his man. Knocks it down the line for Prince of Porto. He's got one man to beat. Can he do it? He can. He's in one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Gunnarsson with a save. We have ourselves another highlight. I wouldn't mind if they just finished now. Just give us the win. See us through. Cut this game short. Everybody's got trains to catch. Buses to catch to get home. You know, let's just be a little bit serious now. Unless you're going to give me another goal. In which case, continue on. Ajeti plays Mark Condes. Finds Barini in the box. Gunnarsson again. Doing well to keep Brentford with a slim hope. They've got to get three goals in seven minutes. 
Let's see if they can do it. Free uh, corner. Prince of was the man who's going to take it. Barini comes out the wing. Are we going to do anything with this? No, we're not. Solanke wins the ball. And it's cleared. Are oh, Brentford going to counter though? That is the northern up. That's fine. And time is just ticking away. Huddersfield 3, Brentford 1. We finish 5-2 on aggregate. And we make it to the playoff final. Who are we going to face? Swansea City or Burnley? It's going to be Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Burnley. Remember last time with Birmingham? We almost almost got beat. Um, how have we done against Burnley over the course of this season? We didn't play them. Well, they weren't played before we came, so we've played them twice. Where am I just being blind? I cannot see their badge anywhere. Well, there's one. We beat them 1-0 away from home. Um, and I've missed one. Oh, there's the other. We beat them 2-1. So we've won twice. That's a good sign. That's a good start. Um, playoff finals always a little bit different though. Luke Daly should be fit for it, which is good to see. Prince of Porto gets a hat trick. The I mean, something going wrong here. Um, I'll see you for the playoff final then, lads. Here we are then. It is the day. Are we a championship club? Or are we a Premier League club? Burnley are the opposition. We've been here before. We faced them in the playoff final against Birmingham City. They almost beat us. We managed to end up in the end winning 3-1 after they missed a late penalty. And we're here again. Can we do it? We've beat them twice this season already. You know, we've we've got the experience. Um, we'll beat them away from home. I think it was 1-0 and then 2-1 at home. They're coming at us with pretty much the same formation except their wing-backs are dropped back. We've got some good players. Jonas Wind, I remember, scoring against us for some reason. Jack Cork, Berisha. Uh, Jonathan's a good left back. Nick Pope in goal. Do we have enough? Come on, boys. Get us out of this league. Come on. First highlight of the game comes 17 minutes in. We are in possession with Lewis O'Brien. Tries to play it over the top. Prince of Porto. It looks like they're going to clear this up quite easily. And maybe it's going to be Burnley on the attack. No, it's not. We've pinched the ball. Barini did it. The work rate of that man is unbelievable. Benassar finds Burgos on his right hand side. Back to Barini. Back to Burgos. What are we doing with this? Benassar. He's got options on the left-hand side if he needs them. He goes back to the right. Burgos, lovely play to Barini. Come on. Oh, Nick Pope with a save. Corner. Benassar is the man to take it. He whips it in. Argetti's there. Oh, Argetti. Close. Only 10 minutes remain in the first half. It does look like we've been pretty dominant going by the match stats. But, of course, dominance in the match stats doesn't mean much. If the other side scores a goal with 10 or 4 minutes remaining in this first half. Jonathan to Wind. Ah, oh, Jonas Wind puts Burnley 1-0 up. 17th goal of the season. And it looks like we're going to go into the second half 1-0 down. Burnley's first chance of the game. And they get the goal. Now, we did mention in pre-game. I remember him scoring against us last time. Um, I think it was a header as well. But this time, it's a strike from the edge of the area. Oh, come on, boys. Don't do this to me. And that is going to be that for the first half. Jonas wins goal separating the sides. Our boys have done well in terms of performance. But we haven't managed to find the goal just yet. We're going to have to push for this in the second half. First highlight of the game. Uh, second half comes three minutes in. It's Burnley on the attack down the, the left hand side. But Stankor comes in and pinches the ball. Prince of Porto can't keep possession though. Oh what's this? Stankor pinches the ball. Clark Salt is... Oh man. Stankor please. I'm sticking with his corner. Just in, just in faint hope. O'Brien plays it in. It's clear by Fuentes. Jonathan's going to bring it away for Burnley. And that's going to be that. Berisha with a free kick for Burnley. Please, no. Don't do this. Joel Pereira. Good, good goalkeeping. Stanko brings the long ball down. He goes for goal. Nick Pope with a comfortable save in the end. And as you can see, Nick Pope is definitely getting the man of the match in this game. And now, boy, Fabio Barini picks up a knot. We're going to bring on Mark Condes on that right-hand side. Highlight now, it's Burnley on the attack again. Jonas wins down the left-hand side, finds Berisha in the box. Good save by the keeper, and Benassar can kick it out for a corner. Come on, lads, 25 minutes to go. Can we get the goal back? Just to ease me nerves, Prince of Porto on this right-hand side, picks up the ball right in the corner spot. Berisha gets the challenge in, though, and we lose the ball. Fuentes, I thought it was going to be a Burnley counter-attack. Thankfully, we regain possession. Burgos, Prince of Porto heads it down to Lewis O'Brien. Burgos overlapping brilliantly. 
Emiliano Macondes doesn't get much game time. This lad, he's come on for Barini. Can he do something special? Benassar on the edge goes for goal. Oh, he's offside. Oh. It was Prince Aparto who ended up heading it in. And unfortunately, he was offside. And Luis Fernando for Burnley. Oh, he goes. Oh, I thought that was in. It was over the bar. I'm not sure there's anything more we can do, to be honest with you, lads. Um, I, nah, they've got no real attacking subs to be able to bring on to uh, affect the game. We're already pretty attacking ourselves. We are going to uh, go slightly more direct. Uh, be more expressive, run at defence. Uh, we're going to go a little bit wider to see if we can exploit some of them gaps caused by their high wingers. But um, with 10 minutes to go, we've gone very attacking. This is our final roll of the dice. Um, come on, lads. Panic stations. Stanko, move up. Benasar, move up. Everybody on, your, on an attack duty right now. Um, with only three minutes of the game remaining, we need an absolute miracle. Come on. Come on. Give me a highlight. Time is just ticking away, and that's going to be that, lads. Playoff final heartbreak. Burnley won. Huddersfield nil. Completely undeserved, might I add, for Burnley. Um, but they've done the number over us there after we did it with Birmingham. And now it is the end of our season. All our work comes to an end now. We're a championship club for next season. We've got a big summer ahead of us to try and get out of this league. I want to win the league now. Um, I want to win the league comfortably. But uh, devastating. Devastating to lose in the playoff final. So we gambled with our transfer budget, not wanting to spend it in case we were a Premier League club come the summer. But we are not a Premier League club. We are a championship club. We should have plenty of finances to be able to rework this squad. We'll have a look at it now. End of season awards. Lewis O'Brien, player of the season. We're not going to look at all this. Samuel Stango was a uh, sign of the season. Um, initial budgets, £27 million, 575k per week. It's pretty much exactly what we already had available as we are selling uh, John Stankovic for £6.5 So that had boosted our transfer budget even further. But... Um, it's going to be a big summer, big summer rebuild. A lot of our players, a lot of our starting eleven are uh, loan players, and uh, a lot of our starting eleven are also wanted by Premier League sides or even other Championship sides who feel they could end up pinching themselves a bit of a bargain. We will wheel and deal as we do every single summer, but it's going to be another summer in the Championship. Let's bring this one to a close. If you have enjoyed today's video, I don't know why. Are you sick or something? <laughs> please consider leaving a like and if you enjoy my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy